Hey guys, this is Xenomex. Welcome to today's tutorial. This is going to show you how to make full typography videos for your favorite sound clips, whatever it is. Now, I'm glad that many of you like the style of the tutorials that I make, so hopefully I will make this one even clearer and even easier to follow. I've had over 100 requests just for how to make typography videos on After Effects, and today I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So, I wanted to make this seem really simple. Because, let's be perfectly honest with you, it's not an easy thing to do, it's time consuming, uh, it's quite stressful, and you're going to need quite a lot of trial and error. You're going to test things out, things are going to fail, and you're going to try again. So what I thought I would do, I thought I would take the latest typography video which I've done, based on the time that this video uh, has, has been recorded, and show you what I did in order for it to turn out the way it is now. Let's start with the actual video that I chose. I found a video on YouTube where this boxer, five years world champion, was, was just saying, you know, I ain't gonna brag, but I was bloody good at it. It just seemed funny. I just imagined it to be a typography video. I just thought it would turn out really well. So I downloaded the video from YouTube. As you can see, this is 7 minutes 43. I put it onto Sony Vegas, and I just cut the bit where the boxer starts talking, and it was uh, 25 seconds. All I did was just render this sound clip. As you can see, if I right-click, go to Properties, you can see that the length is 25 seconds. So then I had the sound clip ready and then I went to After Effects. I'm using After Effects CS5 which is the latest After Effects version based on the time that this video has been released in and um, but I, I, I believe what I'm going to be showing you should be able to work on all the other After Effects versions as long as it's not too old I guess. Obviously I went to File New and uh, I made a new composition. Now you have to understand compositions are kind of like many different videos so the benefit of After Effects, this is the amazing feature w with After Effects, you can make different videos you can have text on a composition, you can have video on a composition and then in a composition you can have two compositions and inside those compositions you can have more compositions you know I mean it sounds pretty confusing but it makes perfect sense once you start using it. As you can see, with 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, 25 seconds. Now, you must be thinking well, that's absolutely crazy because the resolution I'm using right now is 1920 by 1080. That is full HD. And bear in mind that the computer I'm using, which if you've not seen the videos already, Xeno Build, is a high end PC. So I'm not sure if your PC will be able to handle such size. If, well, I mean, you could try it anyway, but if it doesn't, I'm sure you can drop down to 1000 by 1000 or 800 by 800. But anyway, the reason why I've chose this size is because, if I press OK now, this is the kind of place where I'll be throwing all the text in. This is not going to be the final aspect ratio of the video. So, let me explain. First, I had the composition ready, and I went here, then I right-clicked, and I went to New Solid. Then I made the color white. Now, you change the color depending on the colors that you want for your video. Just so I can follow the example which I've done for the um, Prince Nazim video, I've made this white. Then I lock the layer by going here. And now, if I go to my file once again, I've listened to the Prince Nazim soundtrack, which is 25 seconds long, um, quite a lot, to find out exactly what he says. So then I went to Notepad and I wrote down exactly what he says and exactly what I want to write. So then I went here, obviously as you can see I've made sure that this layer is locked and I'm here. Then I went to T and I zoomed in. If I go up and I just started typing. So the, the first words are I mean who do you know. So I, and as you can see it's uh, I've got settings here with a color. I'm, I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to make it red just for this example. Obviously you have to make sure it's highlighted. So I made it red and I is a single layer in itself. I'm going to duplicate this by going to control D, put it here, double click this and I'm going to type mean. Right? And then I'm going to do once again, duplicate it, move it here and type who. Maybe I want to put this like somewhere here. Just 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 to make it seem kind of uh, as you can see it's pixelated because I've I've set it on a quarter. Um, this will speed up performance. I mean, e even for a computer with the specifications I'm using, sometimes put putting it on full is kind of like a bit slow. So I, yeah, I do recommend you doing this. I'm now going to put the other word who do, and then go down. Do you? Right. Okay. So 
I'm not going to be spending too much time writing everything out because I want to make sure that you understand the concept more than just to follow what I'm doing. So, as you can see, I've written all the words separately. And remember earlier, I've mentioned that it's time consuming because of this exact reason. Now, this is just putting the words in together. You may want to make this a different font from this, a different size, a different length, a different, I don't know, blur. Maybe you want to add effects, you want to emboss it, drop shadow it. All these little effects which will make a difference, which will make your typography video even better. But anyway, the point is, now that every single word is on a different layer, as you can see here, I will go to Composition 1. As you can see, I've already got my composition ready. So what I did obviously I just went to new composition and I made sure it's 1280 by 720 because that's the resolution I want to upload it into YouTube. I can either type it in or I'll just uh, select it from the drop down list. As you can see I can just call this uh, for YouTube. And as you can see if I create a new solid here once again. Now this is the, this is the resolution of the YouTube video. I'm going to lock this as well. So now I'm going to drag composition 4 which is the one that I just typed in I mean who do you know. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the white solid layer here because that just helped me see the text and how it will turn out on the final kind of composition. So I press delete to this, then go to 4YT. In fact, it's better if I right click and rename the composition 4 to part 1. But since I've already got part 1, I'll, I'll just write him in who do you know. Right, press enter. Now I'm going to drag this here, and as you can see, it's huge. It's a lot bigger, and that makes it a lot better because that gives me the freedom to zoom in, zoom out, rotate, you know, stretch, lower the opacity easily. So that is a step. Now you see something I've missed out here is the fact that I haven't synchronized it. So I'm going to delete this. Sorry for that. And we're going to put this soundtrack in, Prince Nazim. Right. And now what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to drag all these. I'm going to click on no and then I'm going to hold shift and click on I. And I'm going to drag all these here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I press enter in order to hear the audio. When you press enter, it RAM previews, I think. And that gives you the ability to hear the audio. Otherwise, if you press space or just, just simply press play, you will not be able to hear the audio. Now, synchronization in After Effects isn't the easiest thing to do. And it's quite hard for me to show you how to do it because I don't have um, sound out. But I'll tell you how it's done anyway. So I'm going to press enter now. And I can hear in this exact time, I, he, he started speaking. And straight after that, if I move it here, he said mean. And then here, and then, when I press enter, it will play all the way from here and go this way. If I want to speed up the process of me synchronizing, I can drag this bar here. So as soon as I press enter, it will go that straight, it will go here straight away and it will just start going to the right. So who... He says it here pretty fast, so I mean, you know, I can more or less guess. And then what I can do, I can press play. And as you can see, it's quite slow. Uh, I know you cannot hear it, but I'm just going to tell you what it sounds like. There we go. Now it's literally perfect. I mean, who do you know? It says it in the perfect time. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this soundtrack here. And I'm going to go to 4YT, and I'm going to drag, I mean, who do you know? I'm going to get the cursor tool, and I'm going I'm to drag it down. And as you can see, I can't see anything because at zero, zero seconds, the layers don't appear just yet. Now I'm going to put the Prince Nazim in, the soundtrack. And if I move it like so, it comes out. I mean, who do you know? Now we want to do the part where the text moves around the place. So I'm going to go to Transform. So at first, I want the set all the keyframes like that by me dragging this. So now it's set at this specific time. This is the position. But I don't want it to be like that, so I'm going to zoom in like so. I'm going to drag it here. And as you can see, it automatically does it. So then I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to rotate it a bit and drag it up. And then keep going. I'm going to rotate it even more. And then move up. Go a bit to the right. Maybe I'm gonna, now I'm going to increase the scale. And I'm going to move it up like so. And now when I play it back you can see how it appears. Now, if you want to synchronize even better, if you want accuracy when synchronizing, you can change the frame rate so it's a lot lower than your actual video's frame rate. So if I go to 15, it will play it really slow. So it was like, I mean, who do you know? You know, and when, when he says it in that speed, uh, it's possible for you to be able to synchronize accurately. 
I recommend you do that for kind of the hard bits. And believe me, when you synchronize perfectly, it makes such a big effect to your videos. They'll really, you know, a few milliseconds difference isn't that much of an issue. We we still get the point once you watch a typography video. So I'm going to put it back to the original uh, frame rate, which I've got on this composition. And basically, that is all I do. If I make about, I don't know, as you can see, I've got uh, six or seven compositions with the combination of all the words that I've got. And, for example, this was one composition, this was one composition, this was one composition. Let me show you. So I'm going to go to part two. And as you can see here, it's black. If I right-click, create a new solid, a white solid, just so I can give you an idea. And if I drag it at the bottom, this is what it looked like. I put everything in here and then I synchronized it right so let me show you the other ones as well if I go to part 3 right click go to new solid and take white drag that bottom as well you can see exactly what I've written to be honest with you that's all you have to do it's simple it's easy it can be stressful you're gonna need to practice try and pick something you find kind of useful or funny now after I did that obviously you can just close all the other compositions not delete them but just close them because you don't need them all you need is the final main composition with all the different compositions in if I l show you my original composition my actual composition for the final thing you can see all these compositions that are inside and the sound file here composition part one part two part three part four brag and bloody that's what I called part 5 and 6 and then I rendered it out and then I went to Sony Vegas put the sound file in rendered it out compressed it put it up on YouTube and that was it I hope this tutorial clarified how to do typography videos it is the simple version I did not want to make it seem too complicated I just wanted to give you the idea the main concept I hope you've understood the video if you have any questions comments or any thoughts Feel free to share them or you can send me a personal message on YouTube. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.